So many of you guys message me and ask me, how do you get rid of the smell in thrifted clothes? Let's test it. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. In today's video, I am sharing with you nine style hacks. I wanted to do 10, but I just like, I could not think of a 10th style hack. So we're just gonna have to settle with nine. These nine style hacks will save you from fashion mishaps, make you more comfortable, and ultimately just help you level up your personal style. Now, some of these hacks I have tried. I love them, I use them regularly. And then some of these hacks I have never tried before. They are things that I have heard of, never tried, came across on the internet, and always wondered if they were true. So the ones that I have not tried yet, I am going to be testing them out for you guys, and I'm going to let you guys know the real tea on if they work or if they're they're flops. Today's video is also a collab with my friend Chloe. I have collabed with her before. She is so sweet and awesome and nice. And if you guys like my videos, you will love her channel. She is amazing. I'll link her below, but I'm going to just let Chloe take over for a second and let you know what she's doing over on her channel. Hey guys, my name is Chloe and over on my channel, we're doing 15 beauty tips and hacks for 2019. So if you guys are interested, then come on over and Let's chat about beauty. Again, I highly recommend checking out Chloe and her video. So those will be linked below. And if you guys are not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe down below to join the family. And with that, let's hop on in. We all deal with deodorant stains. They are the sneakiest little things and you don't really notice them until you're out somewhere at work, at school, on a date. They kind of just pop up when you least expect them. You look down and you see them and you're like, Great. Now this hack might be a bit more well known, but in case you still struggle with the dreaded deodorant stain. Now the hack is to take an article of clothing, it can even be what you're wearing, another section that does not have the deodorant stain, and rub it against where the deodorant stain is. The clothing should buff the mark out, and there you go, no deodorant stain. Now this fashion hack is one I have never heard of. I'm gonna be testing it for the first time, and honestly I feel a little dubious about it just because it doesn't sound like it would work. Taking a red wine stain out with white wine just seems like, it just seems like it wouldn't work, but I'm gonna test it out for you guys, so let's see how it goes. the red wine stain test and as an experiment so I could compare the stain before and after. I made two red wine stains right next to each other and I only blotted one. As you guys can see, the stain came out pretty well. I don't think it was 100%, maybe if I had spent more time on it or maybe if you threw it in the wash right after, but ultimately this was pretty effective. Like if you are in a pinch, if you're at a party and you spill some red wine, I would say most of this came off just by comparison. Like I'm really surprised that this hack was that effective, but cool, this hack is tested and it officially works. According to this hack, hairspray gets lipstick stains out. So this is another one I have not ever tried, but we're gonna test this one out as well. This hack is one I have been doing for over seven years, ever since my cousins taught me this trip the first time I visited the Philippines. Basically, if you don't have the time to try on jeans in store, or maybe there is no dressing room, what you can do to see if they will fit is to take the pair of pants and place the waistband of the pants around your neck. And if the waistband ends meet comfortably, the jeans will fit. 
When my cousins first told me about this hack, I was really, I didn't believe it. I was like, that doesn't make sense. Why would that correlate? But every time I have tried it since then, it has never failed me. I've had other people try it. I've tried it. I've tried it at different stores, at thrift stores, at the mall, like all sorts of different places, and it has never failed me. So this is a hack that sounds like a myth that maybe is originally an old wives tale, but it's one that actually works. Okay, this hack I came across on Pinterest and I am incredibly suspicious of it just because it sounds like so far out there and I'm just like, would this really work? Would it? Would it? I'm gonna read this out of my notebook because it's so specific that I wanna make sure I get it right. So, supposedly, taping your third toe to your fourth toe makes heels more comfortable because it stops a nerve from transmitting and that keeps you from feeling pain. Now, is it just me or does that sound like a little crazy? So my plan is that I'm going to wear heels today for eight hours and I'm gonna tape my toes together and we're gonna see, we're gonna see if this actually works. Hello guys, so it is the next day. I wore heels all yesterday. I wore them while cooking, while cleaning, while even working out. I wore them all day and I do have a conclusion. The tape was surprisingly effective. I really had doubts about this one because I felt like it didn't make sense. I definitely noticed a difference in the soreness in my feet at the end of the day. It wasn't like a ton. It wasn't like the pain was completely gone, but my left foot where I had taped the toes together was definitely significantly less sore. It still sounds so far out there to me that I just want to see what other people's experiences are like. So please test it out and let me know what your findings are in the comment section. Now this hack is tried and true and it's a trick that I love to use when I just want to level up my outfit just that extra bit. If you have ever worn something with longer sleeves and you just wish you had that perfect scrunch in the elbow, the perfect scrunch you wish you could maintain without your sleeve slipping down, the way to do it is to take an elastic hair tie slip it around right about at your elbow and just scrunch, bunch, and roll until you have the perfect scrunch. And once you do have that perfect scrunch, take a little bit of that excess fabric and just roll it up so the hair tie is nice and concealed. Just like that, you have the perfect sleeve scrunch without it slipping down. This hack is a great one to make you look effortlessly stylish. It adds just that little touch of chic that very subtly levels up an outfit. <laughs> This next hack again uses the handy dandy hair tie and the hack is if you have ever wanted the perfect tuck for a sweater but your sweater is just too bulky to tuck, what you're going to do is you're going to take your elastic hair tie, you're going to knot it at the bottom of your sweater and then you're going to fold it in. You can adjust the scrunch to look a little bit more loose and casual and from there you have the perfect faux tuck look for your sweater. This next hack sounds a little bit odd, but it also makes sense. If you have ever wanted a t-shirt to just be soft and feel comfortable and worn in, supposedly, if you take any t-shirt and you soak it in salt water for three days, your t-shirt gets that perfect, soft, comfortable, worn in feeling. This is a hack that I was actually very excited to try out because I love the feeling of an old t-shirt. I was actually expecting this to work because it makes sense. Salt water. What else is made of salt and water? Sweat. To get kind of gross for a second, if you have a shirt that you wear a lot or have worn for years, you're gonna sweat in it. Sweat is made of salt and water and sweat over time, I imagine like, softens the fabric or something. I don't know clothes science, but I feel like that makes sense. Brining a shirt in salt water, I feel would definitely reflect similar results as sweating in a shirt over a period of time. I feel like that makes sense. Not that I was surprised by this working, but I was actually kind of excited that it worked because now I'm, I can do that with all my shirts. And our final hack is another one I'm going to test out. I am super excited to test this one because so many of you guys message me and ask me, how do you get rid of the smell in thrifted clothes? So in the past, my go-to to get smells out of thrifted or vintage clothing has always been to wash them. Sometimes I'll wash them two or three times if the smell is really uh, persistent. And after I wash the piece, I let it dry in the sun. But if this hack works, 
It's gonna save me a lot of time, but also some money on my water bill. I'm gonna read this one from my notebook as well, so I make sure I get the formula right. Supposedly, you can remove thrift odors by spritzing the piece with one part vodka and two parts water. Let's see if it works. So I have gone out and bought this crappy cheap vodka that was $5 at Vons. We're gonna spritz this bad boy, and then after that, the directions say to leave until it's dry, and after that, the smell should be gone, so let's give it a try. So I have let my vodka infused blazer dry overnight and um, let's take a smell test. I am shocked. I am genuinely shocked. There is no smell. It doesn't smell like vintage or thrift and it doesn't smell like vodka. I was at least expecting it to kind of smell like vodka, but it doesn't even smell like that. It doesn't smell like anything. The vodka like neutralized the thrift smell. I don't even understand how. <sighs> Nothing. Okay, cool. No thrift smell. That is a wrap on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me test out and share these hacks with you guys. If you have a fashion or style hack of your own to share, share it in the comment section because you never know who it might help. I was really skeptical about some of these. Honestly, I did not think that taping your toes together would help make heels feel more comfortable. I'm surprised, I'm shocked that it actually worked. Like I mentioned earlier, if you wanna check out Chloe's video, which I highly recommend you do, it will be linked in the description box as well as her channel so you can watch all of her other awesome videos. I really love Chloe. Her content is so good and like she's just like the nicest person. So please definitely go check her out. And let's pull up today's quote of the day. If you guys did not know, I pin all sorts of things on my Pinterest. You guys can check that out below. I'll have it linked. I came across this quote this morning and I think it's so good. It says, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. The reason I like this quote so much is I am so big on failure and learning how to fail and embrace failure. And this, I think, reflects that just because sometimes you win, sometimes things work out, and sometimes things don't work out. But even when things don't work out or you fail, you still learn and learning helps you grow as a person. So think on that. Have an amazing rest of your day. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye. You chasing bread, right? Think that it can't rot? I seen a lot in these 20 years, the cuts healing. Don't waste training on trying to hide a gut feeling. When you know you meant for something, go and chase that. Most copy the right clicks, but face trash. Face facts, not every.